If you thought the Olympians had left Paris, think again. This week, the city welcomes 4,400 athletes for the Paralympics. They're competing in many of the same venues used for the Games earlier this month. This competition involves 23 different disciplines. One of those disciplines is sitting volleyball. Players sit on the court using their whole body to move around. There are a few rules that are a little different from volleyball to include a much lower net. And you know, one of the best in the world is from North Carolina. Heather Erickson is from Fayetteville. She was born with a bone that prevented her leg from fully developing. And after 18 failed surgeries, when she was nine years old, her right leg was amputated below the knee. Now she is one of the most decorated volleyball players in North Carolina history. She's led teams to wins in the World Cup, the Parapan American Games, Volleyball Masters, Euro Cups, the Super Six, and more. She won gold in the 2016 and 2020 Paralympics, plus numerous MVP awards. And this year, she was voted into the North Carolina Volleyball Hall of Fame. She joins us now from Paris, where Team USA's first game is scheduled for Friday. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, great to be here. Hey, how about we start with uh, looking ahead to the games? You competed in these events uh, since 2008, most of your teens and your entire adult life. Uh, what makes this one special? This one's special just because the team that we have this year going in, we put in so much work and it's really become a family. And so these games are really just special because it's a lot of hard work, a lot of everything. And it's a time to really enjoy things and like, putting in the mental work, the physical work. Um, I'm coming off of a shoulder injury. And so kind of having all of those like trials and tribulations that I've had since Tokyo to now, like it's kind of a redemption game and just like enjoying the moment and enjoying all the work and all the hours and all the years that I've put in. And this team has put in to become what we are. And so these games are really special, just enjoying the moment and being in the moment and yeah. really like cultivating everything that we've done. Cool. Let's talk about your roots in North Carolina. Uh, you graduated from yeah. Jack Britt High School. Your brother, I understand, went to ECU. How did your time in North Carolina shape who you are today? So North Carolina is actually where I was found for the sitting program. So I was playing in a club volleyball um, setting in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I went to a tournament with that team. And that is where sitting volleyball found me. And like, I got introduced to the sport itself. Um, and then North Carolina actually like flew me out and paid to fly me out to my first camp to give me the option and the availability to like go and enjoy the sport and get introduced to it. And then from there I made the team and I competed in Beijing when I was in a sophomore in high school. So I was at Jack Britt when I competed um, I had a really amazing principal at Jack Britt that said that I'd learn more exploring the world than I would in a classroom. And so he really supported me and really like went to bat for me and really um, did what needed to be done to let me have these opportunities. So I'm very, always very grateful for the people that stepped up and really helped me through near mm -hmm. North Carolina. It's so cool that you've been able to travel the world through this sport. And you don't just play volleyball, uh, you coach it as well. You live in Oklahoma now, you coach a youth team there. Curious, tell us about your team and, and how taking on that coaching role has changed your perspective. I mean, as a coach, you see how things influence the game a lot more. You see how the emotions handle things. You, you see how your attitude influences the team and you see how really great teams can go and underperform because they can't play together. And then you see teams that maybe have less skill that can overperform because they know how to come together and play as a team. Um, coaching has made me a better player and it's made me really like appreciate the sport a lot more for what it is. Cool. And so it's given me that avenue, which I love. <laughs> Let's get back to Paris. What's been a highlight of your trip so far? I know you've been there for a, a little while now, just getting acclimated. Um, we went and got to actually tour and see all the sites. We went on top of the Arc de Trump and we were up there when the Eiffel Tower lit up. So that was probably the highlight of the highlight of the day. But it was it's amazing to see the culture and to see the history and the streets and see how much Paris has like taken these games and like really made them really special for us as Paralympians and I'm sure did the same as for the Olympians. Heather, thank you again so much for joining us. Good luck through the games. Thank I know you're you. going to do great, and I know you're going to have fun. Thank you so much.